If you're a parent, you've seen how bullying and violence can impact your children in the classroom and beyond. Tonight, we have a story of how one school took bullying on against the odds. The most recent census found more than 47% of people in Highland Park live in poverty. Growing up there brings challenges. At the George Washington Carver Academy, those challenges resulted in kids acting out with violence. After 91% of the students had been suspended. Pastor Ovella Andreas with the United Communities of America saw the problem and knew it impacted how much the kids were learning. She took an idea to four schools, including Carver. She asked kids to enter a school competition. It involved a pledge. Behaving earned points. Breaking rules cost points. School changed. Big time. They stopped all the drama. There weren't a lot of people in the dean's office, so everybody's still here. No one is suspended, so that's good. All of the schools reported reduction in violence. This school reported no violence. Let me repeat that. There have been no fights this year at this school, as in zero. So this week, kids at a school where last year, 91% of them had been suspended for fighting, won the Students for Peace competition. And we're fighting for each and every one of you in this school. So you can become a beacon of light. Highland Park Mayor DeAndre Windham delivered the school a trophy and word, kids get to enjoy a roller skating party. The mayor and Pastor Andrea say this is just the beginning. Here the students have decided we want to have a school that's peaceful and we've given them incentive to do it. Once they experience that environment for that one day, it carries on. Great kids. School workers showed me the dean's office where kids in trouble used to be lined up. It was completely empty. Pastor Andrea says she wants to take her competition to schools across the country. What I love is the pledge. You know, you, you own up to the words that you say. And they all know it by heart. Yeah.